The natural process was that stormwater would fall on some open space and it would infiltrate into the ground. What's happened is that because we've got so many impervious surfaces, we've got buildings, we've got parking lots, we've got roads, we've got sidewalks, the stormwater doesn't have a place to go. My name is Natalie Shivers. I am the Associate University Architect for Planning at Princeton. Our goal is to improve the overall health of the watershed. Every project that we do, every major capital project, and I would say every minor capital project, will be planned to meet our campus stormwater goals. So far, as part of the 2016 campus plan, we have bought 100 acres of the campus into what we call enhanced stormwater management or ecological stormwater management. Our goal for 2046 is 222 acres to be managed in an ecologically sustainable way. We've had many episodes of flooding in the past, both localized and you know, kind of larger scale, and by providing opportunities to infiltrate stormwater into the campus, that really helps to improve the resilience of the campus in large storm events. So the Washington Road Stream Restoration is located between Faculty Road to the south and to the north, the area of Stryker Bridge. That's where the stream daylights. And rather than just put the stream in a pipe, which was kind of the old-fashioned solution, we decided to restore the natural meander of the stream, restore the floodplain, and improve the biohabitat of the area. We're seeing tangible results. What we can see is that there's a lot less erosion, so less sediment going into the stream, less sediment going into the lake. We see that there are healthier streams in terms of micro and macro invertebrates, and we're seeing that we're getting beautiful landscapes as a kind of byproduct of the stormwater management strategies that we're employing. We are looking at the outfalls into Lake Carnegie and measuring the quality of the water, the velocity of the water, the quantity of the water that goes out of those outfalls into the lake. And then we will start to monitor as projects come online and understand what their impact is on the, the quality of the watershed. It is the number one water quality challenge in New Jersey that so many toxins and so many pollutants are being carried into our streams and lakes. And so managing our stormwater runoff is really important to preserve the health of the watershed.